Okay. So I have Sky and Ryder with me. We just got another toy delivery. And this is what came in the box. So I actually did get four of these. One for each bird. Now they are, they're called 100% edible nibblers. Fruit and veggie wood chews. Compressed wood, compressed wood. Malt and sucrose binder. Realistic fruit and nut shapes. Steel chain holder. Walnut and fruit slice kebab. Small. Uh, oh, this is a small size. <laughs> I know. Um, I don't know. I've never heard malt being used for anything for birds. And sucrose, I believe, is a type of sugar. Um, I don't really like any sugars. Sucrose, I'm not even sure. Um, so it's a compressed wood. I don't think it has any flavor. I think it's just the color and shape, which is like fruit and vegetable shape. Do you want to try it? Is it fine? Mm, so this is basically just for them to chew and shred and keep their beak busy. Um, I don't know how hard this is. I would like to try a small piece myself to see what it tastes like and I do that with almost everything. So take a small piece. Well, I don't taste any sugar or anything weird. Mmm. Did you want to have a gold? I just tried it. That's fun, huh? Good boy. Yum yum. Yum yum. Not eating it at the moment. Oh, he's just crumbling. Oh my gosh, he really likes it. I just realized I could have bought maybe one or two of these and just made a couple. Um, so this. Oh, I use these split rings. I don't like that. I mean, this clip's not too bad. If they're strong enough to yeah, get their beaks caught in that, that's a problem. I may change all of that, and I don't really like bells. Not these kind, anyway. I've got the thick stainless steel bells, the tube ones, where they can't reach the piece in the middle. Thick stainless steel that they can't destroy, break. Um, I don't even like the colour. Like, um, I don't know if that's safe. And it's also got a split ring here, so I'm just going to alter that to make it my, yeah, up to my safety standards. So what would I normally do here? I have, yeah, what's up buddy? I have this old thing that I've been cutting up for everything. I use it for everything. It's like a seagrass twine or rope. Um, and they seem to be able to chew through it easily, so it's not fluffy or anything, so there's no crop impaction danger, hopefully. I've never seen them eat it. I have seen them chew at it and destroy it. It breaks apart quite easily, so I'm just putting an old wooden ball toy on here. It's from a toy that I didn't want to use because the paint doesn't look very safe, but... I'm just using it to hold this together since I took the bell off. And hopefully they won't want to play with this. I mean, they probably can't really get to it that easily anyway. So that's how I'm going to have that piece. People like to leave the tags on. I prefer not to because um, of this shiny stuff. They say don't use shiny magazines for laying at the bottom of the cages. So I'm not using any shiny paper or cardboard 
inks. Who knows how toxic that ink is. And there's like a sticker on there. There's glue on that, obviously, too. So take that off. Okay. You okay, buddy? Um, actually, that may be long enough to hang without them being able to get to the rest. So I'll do that with all of them. Um, maybe I can, I don't know if it, it'll focus. Probably won't focus. It's on selfie mode. They've got little shapes on them. I guess it's supposed to look like, yeah, things to chew. So, and so it's compressed wood, uh, and apparently it's bird safe. They were about, I don't know, $7 each plus postage. So I'll hang one of these up in each of their cages. I might take out some of their old toys and keep put them away for a little while. So when I bring them back out again, it's, it's not boring. It's, it's, oh, I remember this toy. That was fun, exciting. Keep swapping things around, changing things around. So I'm going to keep working on that. So, yeah, there's mine. There's the original. Yeah, these can all have a new toy each. I don't really like having them both on my shoulder. It's not good. Are you okay? Can you step up, please? Can you step up, please? Aww. It looks like he has a sore foot. I was downstairs getting the mail. I don't know if he hurt his foot. He's not putting a lot of pressure on it. Look at those wings. He's grown his flight feathers. You have? There's not really much pressure on that foot. Uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Okay. Uh, thanks for that, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay. Oh, can you say I love you? You mad? Ouch. Instead of chewing on my fingers, would you like to chew on this? Oh. Do you want to try a different color? What about the orange one? She's not happy with them doing this. Oh, a bit scary. Good effort for a first time. He's gonna knock over the camera. Ah, oh, don't chew the broken corner. Oi, whoa, whoa. He's claimed the camera. Mm. Buddy. Hello. Okay, so we must have paused the video at some point. Yeah, I was saying I was trying to get them closer together. That's why I had them sitting with me. Um, and she just doesn't like how noisy he is. So she's always telling him to be quiet. Oh, baby girl. Are you okay? You're so mad, aren't you? Oh, he's so mean. He's not mean. He doesn't really attack anyone. Everyone attacks everyone else. Right? Okay, you guys. See you next time. Hmm, Sky, you're so cute.